Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Dowsy. I'm Dowsy LeMay. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it wherever you are in the world. Uh, today I'm going to talk about honoring your emotions, okay? I'm going to talk about why your, why your emotions are important, how our emotions have been hijacked, and what does repressed or hijacked emotions do to your reality, and maybe a couple tools just to start honoring your emotions as you go forward on your path. So before I do, I always like to say these are my truth and my experiences that led me down my path. They don't have to be yours, so use your own discernment and take what resonates with you and leave the rest. But keep an open mind because they may be useful for you if they don't resonate with you now, but maybe down the road. So let's talk about our emotions, right? I will say that um, my perspective, the way we've been taught about emotions, at least for the vast, the vast majority of us, our, our emotions have not been treated in the most beneficial way, right? If you can think about this, especially for me as a kid, um, we had some point in our life at an early age started wanting to express an emotion, right? Some type of an emotion that we wanted to express. And what we were told at some point was that from our parents or someone else that your emotions are not valid. Your emotions are not what you should be feeling for this moment and you should be feeling something different. So think about this. How many times have you been wanting to talk to your mom or when you were a kid and trying to get attention and you were crying out for that attention and what your, your mom or your dad did was say, you need to stop acting like that. Stop crying or that's not how a girl should act. That's not how a boy should act. Whatever the, whatever the situation, you had some emotion that came up that wasn't in alignment with your, your parents at the time and they said that's not the way you should act. So what does that do to you? It made you feel rejected. It repressed the things that you wanted to have expressed and you had to repress them. So what happens is that you became invalid and those emotions that you felt were supposed to be true swelling up from you as, um, as something that you needed to be able to understand your reality, you were told those, those emotions are wrong. Those emotions are not the truth to what should be um, a good girl or a good boy should be. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that is BS, all right? The whole reason that you have emotions is for you to feel and understand the things that you're creating this in, this, in your reality and to see whether or not that's something that you wanna to continue to create in your reality. So let's talk about what happens energetically when you get an emotion that is repressed or you don't honor your emotions. So let's think about this. Let's start, you, you start off as a little kid, right? and you want to express something. And let's take my example. I was a little kid, very young, and I wanted to have some expression of about wanting to feel appreciated or loved in that moment and was seeking attention. And yet my father um, at that point um, would say, no, that's not how you should feel. And he would either do it via saying verbally, yelling, say no, or he would say, I don't have time for you, or in a more um, in a more extreme case, they would say, they would hit you, right? Don't act like that, you're not supposed to act like that, and they would hit you. So what did that do? You took an energy, one that you were expressing from your body, and your, your, your energy, and what happens is that someone told you that's not the way that you should express it, and it's a wrong energy. And so what you had to do is you had to bury it back down inside your body right? Now, think about this. As a creator, if you were creating something in your world and you were expressing something via an energetic way and you were told that was not the right way to do that, you hold on to that energy. And that energy, in this case for me, would be, say, this lack of, of, of love. I wanted to express I wanted to express something, I wanted attention for it, and I was told I was wrong and I was being bad for it, and therefore I held on to the identity of not feeling loved. Well, what happens is you hold on to this emotion, this energy stays within you, and you start to create and manifest into your reality via the law of attraction a bunch of experiences to reflect this emotion that you're holding on to. In my particular case, I'm holding on to the identity that I don't feel loved and therefore the reality keeps spinning back around this pattern in my life that keeps showing me a bunch of experiences where I don't feel loved because this emotion that I was wanting to express when I was young 
in a traumatic standpoint was held on and it became an energetic frequency that became part of my life until I decided a few years ago to say, I need to look at this. I need to understand why this is coming up and actually honoring my emotions, right? It is the honoring of your emotions, the expression of your emotions that allow you to let them go, to allow the energy to go outward in a way rather than saying coming up and then holding on to it and then creating a reality. Let's take a metaphor, for example. Let's take you have a bottle of soda or anything that's carbonated, right? And let's say that bottle is you, the, the plastic that's the glass or the plastic that represents your physical body or your energetic body. And inside is this carbonated fluid. And that is your emotional energy body. What happens is you want to express the emotion, but you don't. You put the tap on, you put the, cu the cap of it on, and then what you do, you start shaking it. You shake, 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 because this energy wants to come out, it wants to come out, and you don't let it go out. And what happens? The pressure builds. The pressure builds inside that, inside that bottle. Until one day, you're out in public, and something really, 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 really small triggers you. And you unscrew the top of that cap, and boom! All your emotional trauma stuff comes pouring out and you have no control over it. Does that sound familiar to anybody? That's what happens when you don't allow or honor your emotions, right? It's in some inconvenient, it's in an inconvenient place where you're in public and something small happens and you just have an emotional meltdown. It's all because you did not express the emotion that you weren't allowed to express. You rejected a piece of you, you bottled it down and you never allowed it to come out. And it's energetically playing in your life as a loop. Think about a record. It keeps going around and around and around and around until you become conscious of that and you start to say, what is this pattern? Why is this occurring for me? And why do I need to look at it? And you need to honor the emotions that come up with that. That, in my, that, my friend, is a lot of part of the healing path or the spiritual path. It's to go through all the emotional and unconscious trauma, energetic crap that you've been holding on to because you were told to repress it and you need to express it so that you can start moving in a different pattern than what you had been doing in the past, okay? So if you haven't really honored your emotions, what I would recommend that you do is that you start honoring those emotions. How do you start honoring them? Just be checking in. Don't, don't be so quick to move off an emotion. One of the best ways for me to tap into the emotions that I had during my day was to go into meditation. If you don't meditate and you don't have a daily meditative practice, I highly recommend that you guys just find a place to get quiet and get peaceful with yourself. And when you're able to get through the monkey brain, which is when you're thinking a thousand different things and you feel more centered, start bringing up experiences that showed you emotions that you really didn't like, things that made you feel angry, things that made you feel sad, or whatever the emotion that you wanna start feeling and understanding about. And really truly feel those emotions. Really sit in that emotion until you say, oh wow, I really have looked at this whole thing. I have felt this emotion in my body. And what you do is you start honoring it and then you start giving yourself a little bit of validity saying it's okay to feel angry. It's okay to feel sad. What you were told in the past was a lie. And what you need to do is start allowing and validating your feelings so you don't need to keep holding on to things that really wants to come out. It really wants to be coming out of your body. And it's really having an, a major effect on your body. Think about how strong your emotions are, right? Think about how strong it is when you get angry and when you get sad, or even when you get happy. When you take an emotion and you bottle it up inside your body, it wreaks havoc on your body. Think about taking, um, uh, um, you know, as I mentioned, in the past, energy always comes first. The physical always comes after the energy. This is why your thoughts, your beliefs, and then your actions follow your thoughts and your beliefs. The energy comes first. When you take an energy, like an emotion, and you don't express and you jam it down in your body, in your energetic body, 
your physical body has no other option but to follow that particular energy. It has to, there's no other option. It wants to follow the energy. So you take an emotion, you jam it in your body, and it becomes almost like a stuck type of energy. And your body wants the flow naturally. But when you take an emotion, you jam it down your body and you don't let it out, your body starts to slow down, you start to attract aches and pains and illness and those kind of things. So it behooves you, especially if you're dealing with some um, physical issues, for you to look and honor your emotions because then you get to express it and at some point your physical body will follow along your energetic body. I really hope that helps you. I know it's a big thing to unpack but it's the biggest thing that I'm really passionate about for a lot of people is that uh, you need to start honoring your emotions both the good and the bad and don't think the bad emotions such as crying and angry and all those other things are bad emotions those are things that you should love because it's telling you something about your reality and you need to become conscious about that so if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to me on instagram at uh, spiritual Dowsy or on facebook or reach out to me on youtube here but i just want to say i love you and have a great day